people and winners of the Weekly Reader National Invention Contest. When was the contest held? You don't know, do you? Like uh, uh, last week? Last year? Mm. <laughs> anyway, please say hello to the inventors, uh, Ryan Johnson. I guess you're Ryan. Nice to see you, Ryan. And uh, Katie Hardy. Are you Katie? Katie, nice to see you. And Susan, Susie Amling. Did I pronounce your last name properly, Susan? Yeah. Amling? Nice to see you. And where are you folks? Where, where are you from? Mm, Bloomfield. Bloomfield, New York? Bloomfield, Indiana. Bloomfield, Indiana. And, and how about you, Ryan? Where are you from? Bloomfield, Indiana. So you're classmates then? You go to the same school? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, where are you from? Auburn. 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 Auburn, Opelika. Auburn where? Auburn, Opelika. Auburn, Opelika. <laughs> So, uh, Auburn Opelika. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, let's, let's, uh, how, how old are you? How old are you? Five. Five. Let's start with, let's start with your invention. What was your invention? Mm, a mud puddle spotter. A mud puddle spotter. Okay, show, show people, show people what that is. <laughs> it's an umbrella. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and then how did you alter the umbrella? <laughs> but I mean, what, so, but the, oops, watch it, careful there, you're going to slide off of that. But what, what is the, uh, <laughs> what, uh, the, the, um, there's something different about the umbrella, isn't it? Show the people what's different about the umbrella. It has a light on it. That's right, and that's so that at nighttime you can spot mud puddles, right? All right, let me show you how this works. Now, are you, were you the first place winner? You don't know. What, did you win any money for this? Yes. How much, how much did you win? I don't know. Yeah. Has the money, have you been given the money yet? No. No. Well, you should look into that for sure. <laughs> so now this is very, it's a, a good idea. You can, when you walk at night, there's a, uh, well, I'm explaining it to you. You invented it. <laughs> nice to meet you. What, what did you do to your eye there? What happened to your little... Did you take a swing at her? <laughs> no. All right. Nice meeting you. You're from Indiana. You know I'm from Indiana. Bloomfield, Indiana. Yeah, I know. Have you ever seen this show? Mm, yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. And uh, and you're you're Ryan. Ryan, what uh, what is your invention? A keep warm bird feeder. A keep warm bird bird feeder. Excuse me. Is it, is it down here? Okay. Let's get this up here. There you go. Now, who who among you is the grand prize winner? Oh, you are. Okay, we'll be with you in a minute, Susie. All right, show them how the uh, the bird feeder works there, Ryan. Well, you open the door. Okay, can you see that? You open the door in the back. And you put the, the bird seed in, uh -huh. and it goes in there. And so the, this would be like the, the wall of your kitchen or your house or your dining room, whatever. Yeah. Here's the bird feeder outside. So yeah. the object of the invention is you can feed the birds without getting cold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Paul, quick, get Art Linkletter on the phone. Uh, um, hold it. So, how did you get the idea for this invention? Well, my mom always has to go out and fill the, be the bird feeder the up in the, co yeah. in the cold. So I just thought yeah. maybe she could fill it from the inside. Now, now, this is a great idea. You should be very proud of yourself that you were able to come up with this. Thanks. Do you, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you have one of these in your house? No. Yeah. And, and say, say somebody wanted to install one of these, what do you think the installation would run? I don't know. A couple of grand? No, 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 no. You could probably cut right through there for under $100, couldn't you? I don't know. Okay. Well, look into this. Did you get your money yet? Oh, brother. This week what kind of a scam is this weekly reader running anyway? They get all of the ideas and the patent rights. They make a fortune. Nobody gets any money. What is this? Do what? Take, oh, take it down. I'm sorry. There you go. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Do mind? All righty. And then now we're down to Susie. That was your name, right? Yeah. And, and you're from Auburn in what state? Opelika. It's uh, uh, Alabama. Opelika. Oh, 
You know, Art could be here right now, and I could be doing the insurance commercials. Um, and, and you're the grand prize winner, aren't you? Yes. Now, that, that means you win the most money of anybody in the competition, right? Yes. How much money was it? Five hundred. Five hundred. Now, have you received your money yet? No. This, this lousy rag. Boy, this... Okay, all right. Now, go ahead and... <laughs> what, is the, uh, what, is, what is the invention called, Susie? Your invention is called a... Uh... <laughs> Line leader and keeper. A, a line leader and keeper. And it's for the use of what? What, what is this used for? Children stay in line. When kids go, say they're on a, going on a field trip with their teacher, and they're walking down the streets and they need to stay together so they don't get into traffic and so forth, they use this, don't they? Yes. Okay. Now, t tell them what it does. When one of the kids lets go of the line, what happens? It beeps. It beeps, and the teacher knows to start uh, looking around for to see who got off the line, right? It's sort of like a fish stringer, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Goes right through here. No, no. Okay, we're going to demonstrate. Oh, thank God, it's time to demonstrate something. All right, now you, uh, you want to, I'll be the teacher, okay, Susie? And everybody grab a hold of here. And we're, we're going down to Hurley's. <laughs> oh, that's the only, okay, well, that's good enough for the demonstration. You guys, hang on. Okay, and here we go. Now, say we're walking along. Here we go. Can we see this? We're walking along. All right. And then you let go, Susie. And then what happens? Oh, you have to turn it on. I'm sorry. Uh, someone, please help me. Help me. All right. You, you turn it on. Here we go. We're going for a little walk now. And you decide to go pet maybe a dog that's come up to say hello. All right. Go ahead. Pet the dog, Susie. Oh, my gosh. What happened to Susie? She's over there with the dog. Nice meeting you. This is a very good idea. You like cats better? Okay. Uh, you guys should get an attorney if you haven't been paid for this stuff yet. Seriously, get somebody to look into that for you. Nice meeting you. Have a good trip back to Opalaka. <laughs> nice meeting you, Ryan. Have a nice trip back to Indiana. And nice meeting you. Thank you very much for being here. You're all lovely kids, okay? We'll uh, be right back with Bill Hicks.